Another key activity in the Benguela is the hake fishery. Cape hake is caught largely by bottom trawling and to a lesser extent by long line vessels. Between 300,000 and 400,000 tons of hake are landed in South Africa and Namibia every year. The hake stocks are also shared between Namibia and South Africa and to a lesser extent Angola. The history of hake fishery is marked by heavy overexploitation, to the point of nearly wiping out this resource in the Benguela. In 1973, large foreign fleets overfished the standing stock and the hake catch rate dropped to levels that were no longer viable economically. After the dramatic collapse, strong action was taken, such as increasing the mesh size of the nets to protect juvenile fish. But the most significant step was the announcement of a 200 nautical miles fishing zone off the coast of South Africa in 1977 and in Namibia in 1990 that now made it possible to exclude unscrupulous foreign fishing fleets. Soon the hake stock started to recover. This demonstrated that hake is a robust resource that, if managed correctly, could provide healthy revenues and much needed employment on a sustainable basis. Early morning in the open ocean of the Benguela, here, a long fishing tradition introduced from the islands of Madeira is revived every day during the tuna season. Small vessels with a highly experienced crew search for the tuna school. Once there are signs of nearby fish, pieces of pilchard are dropped into the water to lure and keep the school closer to the vessel. Artificial spray of seawater increases the excitement of the feeding fish and also conceals the fishermen high above them. The crew works in pairs, using a long pole with a hooked lure. One fisher hooks the hungry fish and brings it closer to the boat, where it is swiftly gaffed and lifted into the boat by the second fisher. This fishing method is highly efficient and has far less impact on tuna stocks than coast seine nets. Pole fishing is also more cost effective, yet it provides employment for a larger number of people and there is no bycatch wasted in the operation. The productive coastal waters also provide good catches for artisanal fishers along the entire coast flanked by the Benguela, as this example from South Africa shows.